Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that the point P represents the complex number Z on an argon diagram, where the modulus of Z minus I equals 2. The locus of P as Z varies is the curve C. And we've got two parts here. We've got to find a Cartesian equation of C. And in the second part, we've got to sketch the curve C. So if you'd like to have a go at this and you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So the first thing I'd want to do is just to say let the complex number Z equal X plus IY. And what I'm going to do is substitute this into our equation here and then because it's a modulus I'm going to square both sides and hopefully I get a Cartesian equation for the curve C. So if we do that we just substitute this into this equation here. We therefore have the modulus then of x plus iy minus the i and just complete the mod there equals 2. So if I group up the real and imaginary parts, we've got the modulus then of just x for the real part. And then if I just group up the imaginary parts, we've got y minus 1 all multiplied by i. And that equals 2. And what I'm going to do now to get rid of the modulus is square both sides. So doing that gives us x squared plus all of y minus 1 all squared and that equals 2 squared which is 4. So what we've got here is the Cartesian equation of the curve for part A. So what does this represent? Well it represents the form of a circle and the centre of the circle has coordinates 0, 1 and the radius is the square root of 4. So the radius then will be equal to 2 units. OK? So in part B now we've just got to sketch the curve C. So it's going to look something like this with the centre then of the circle at 0, 1 and since the radius is 2 it's going to cut the y-axis here at 3 and down here at minus 1. Okay, 